Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. Um, I've kind of been obsessing over Olivia Jade here on YouTube the past couple days, so I kind of got inspired to do a look similar to what she does quite often, except I did more of like a juicy, just freshly bitten lip kind of, like swollen kind of looking lips almost. Um, so I just started off with washing my face and moisturizing and then I jump right into priming my face with the Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Priming Stuff. Um, I just recently got this for Christmas and I've been loving it. My skin has been really dry lately so I used that Pond's really uh, moisturizing facial moisturizer and the hydrating coconut primer so it's like a double whammy for my dry skin right now um i also wanted to do kind of like a dewy glowy skin so i put some of the becca shimmering skin perfector in the color moonstone on the high points of my face before foundation <music> So I tried something different today. This is the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB Cream. So it's like a BB cream, but it's like br like liquid bronzer. I don't know if the name kind of says it itself, but um, I kind of put these in the places where I would normally bronze slash contour. And it didn't really do much, but you know, I tried it out. <laughs> So before foundation, I concealed the dark circles under my eyes, just really up close to under my eye, if that makes any sense. I didn't like drag it down with like normal concealer. And then I'm just using my weakest finger, which is the ring finger, to gently blend that out. And then I went in with the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick, which is one of my favorite foundations and I just did a bunch of lines all over my face and blended it out with a uh, beauty sponge. So next I'm going in with the number 7 Radiant Glow Concealer. It's kind of like a like a highlighting concealer. Um, this is the lightest shade they have though, and it's kind of like my exact skin color, so I, I didn't really see much of like a highlighting effect. Um, so then I am setting my face with the amazing Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. <music> Um, so next I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Complexion Brush, which is just like a really big fluffy powder brush. And I'm taking the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm and swirling that kind of all over my face to give me a nice, warm, healthy glow. Since when does Lana Del Rey have a cover of Chelsea Hotel number two? <sighs> what? So next to lightly contour, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and the Sculpt side with a Real Techniques contour brush and just lightly contour my face. <laughs> So 
this stuff I usually do before I even start my makeup, but I forgot. So I'm just putting on some lip balm. And then for blush, I'm jumping into the Becca and Jaclyn Hill, uh, what's it called? Champagne Collection Face Palette. And I'm taking Rosé Spritz and Amaretto for blush. And I kind of went overboard on the blush, but you know, whatever, haha. <laughs> And then I take Champagne Pop to highlight. So I actually wasn't using this palette much at all, but I saw Olivia Jade use it in a couple of her videos, so I got inspired to use it as well. Jumping into my eyebrows, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. It's kind of like a cool toned dark brown and I think it goes good with my dyed eyebrow colors. Colors? Color. Um, even though right now my dye has like super faded and I need to dye my eyebrows again. Like always, I'm setting my brows with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso. And then we're gonna move on to the eyes. I need you, I don't need you. <laughs> what are you trying to say here? So to start off, I am curling my eyelashes and then I'm gonna jump into a couple of the Coastal Scents Hot Pots. And I'm using Coconut Husk just to kind of blow out all in my crease and transition and on my lid, just like all over my eyeball. I don't even know. There is nothing to fear. Um, then I'm using Burnt Umber and putting that more like you know, how I do with every other eyeshadow look that I have ever done. So I just layer lightest to darkest shades. So I kind of just kept this one. I just layered it on top of coconut husk, deeper out in my outer corner and up into my crease. And then my, what would that be? My left eyeball was not having it. So I took this brush with just like no additional product on it and I just tried to blend everything out because I don't know if you can see but it like would not blend out but you know I worked with it whatever um, and then I took those two colors kind of mixed together on like a flat ish brush and just lined my lower lash line and then I'm gonna be taking two ColourPop Super Shock shadows this one is in fringe and I put this more on like the inner half of my eyelid to kind of open up my eye and the oh my gosh these eyeshadows if you don't have if you don't have ColourPop eyeshadows in your makeup collection please go get them they're six dollars a piece maybe five five or six dollars a piece and they're like this creamy like jelly I don't even know the texture but they're not like a normal pressed powder shadow and then this color is Kathleen lights from her quad that I have um, and then I put this on the outer half of my lid kind of like mixing the two not being super precise about anything oh my gosh but seriously these shadows are so beautiful and they're so inexpensive so I would seriously go get some if you don't have any um, so then I think I probably took coconut husk just to kind of blend everything out. And now moving on to mascara. <laughs> uh, so technically my grandparents got this for me for Christmas. I kind of was like, you know, might as well splurge on a mascara before I have to fast not being able to buy any makeup. So I have this Chanel, I don't even know what it's called, Le, Le Volume or something. Some type of really unnecessary mascara <laughs> but um, it's amazing that this was the first time I was using it since I got it for Christmas and it was fantastic um, now I'm just lining my lips with a new NYX lip liner I think this is bleh, I think this is just the shade natural and I just filled in my lips and then I took this Sephora Rouge infusion that I'm pretty sure is non-existent anymore 
um, and kind of just put it on like the inside of my lips to make it look like I just suck someone's blood or whatever. Um, so it's like a freshly bitten swollen look and then I did elf tinted lip balm on top and the YSL oil tint stuff. So that is my look. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Olivia Jade for the inspiration. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.